Hello everyone, we are Nur and Miali from Madagascar. More than just a cartoon, Madagascar is the fourth largest island in the world with 592,800 square kilometers and approximately 25 million people. Antandarive is the capital city of Madagascar. It is located on the central highlands. Two of the main monuments to see are the train station that faces the Independence Avenue and the Queen's Palace, a beautiful edifice overlooking the city. Street markets have a big part in the Malagasy culture. There are a few grocery stores similar to Giants or Whole Foods in Madagascar, but they are not within everyone's budget. Most of the population grocery shop on a daily basis from merchants in open-air markets. The first picture shows one of the traditional outfits in Antanarivo. The second one shows people performing the traditional song and dance of the capital. These performances always transfer a deep social message and the performers never use microphones or other sound systems. If you want to escape from the city, Mantasua Lake on the left and Ampef, home of the Lily Waterfall, on the right are great gateways. They are both located less than 100 kilometers from Antananarive city. Rice is the main food in Madagascar. Each region has its own style of food, but it always includes rice. The people in the rural areas are the main producers of rice. They mostly live in clay houses or unpainted brick houses. The east coast of Madagascar is the only part of the island that still has a tropical forest. Jamofana Park contains and to make flora and fauna for the adventurers to discover. Ramafan also has a thermal source and pool which can treat many diseases. FCE or Fianaratsu Test, meaning East Coast, is one of the two remaining rail networks in Madagascar. Riding the FCE trains provides a great opportunity of sightseeing of the beautiful landscape of the East Coast of Madagascar. As we visit the Fianaransu region, it is not rare to see people wearing blankets as their jackets. The weather is chilly all year round, and people just get used to walking around with their blankets to make sure they don't get cold. On the way to the south of Madagascar, we drive by Isal. On the main road, all we can see are rocky mountains and dry lands or dry grass. But if we go visit the natural reserves, behind the mountains, we can enjoy beautiful walks of nature, such as the natural pool in the picture. The south of Madagascar is the driest area of the island. It only rains twice a year in some cities. The baobabs are gigantic trees that can survive in this dry climate. This picture shows the Baobab Avenue, a must-see if you travel to Madagascar. The thing of Bemara, also called the forest stone, is a natural geological formation. The site is home to an exceptionally large number of endemic species of plants and animals that are found only within extremely small niches within the Tsingis. The National Park is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This picture shows the traditional outfits in the southern region of Madagascar. There are several tribes and each of them has their own style, but this is one of the most commonly known. In this picture, they are performing their traditional dance. Mahadzang is a port city in the northwest of Madagascar. It is mostly known for its warm weather all year round. People love to travel to Mahadzang to relax and enjoy the long beautiful beaches. Mahadzang also has unique reserves to visit such as the Red Circuit and Old Red Mountain. 
It is common for the people, especially the ladies, living in the coastal and beach areas to paint their faces with mason's wine. Not only is this fashionable, but it also protects their skin from the sun. This is a great natural way to remain young looking. Diego is a province in the north of Madagascar. It has several natural reserves to visit, including the magnificent Tsing Rouge or Red Tsing and the French Mountain. The mountain used to serve as a base to the French military back in the 20th century. Today, it is a great destination that offers a 360 degree panoramic view to other natural reserves. Nuspe is a very small island on the west coast of Madagascar. It is surrounded by several smaller islands that are home to a multitude of fauna and flora that are endemic to Madagascar. Nuspe is also known for its production of ilong ilong. The west coast of Madagascar offers spectacular sunset views. This picture was taken from the Mont Paso in Nuspe. Mont Paso is an extinct volcano surrounded by eight crater lakes where we can see unique fish species. Madagascar is the number one vanilla producer in the world. The island supplies 80% of the world's natural vanilla. Most of the vanilla plantations are located in the humid Sava region in the northeast of Madagascar. One more important aspect of the Malagasy culture is that children are considered the greatest wealth. Children are their parents' pride and they are often placed above anything else. Mothers would go to work carrying their little baby in their bag all day long. Thank you.